Lesson for All, daily at 6 a.m. Good morning, friends. Welcome to another episode of Alva. My name is Roger Allen, and this morning I'll be sharing with you from the topic, God's People, the Channels of Mission. Before I do so, let us pray. Father, we are grateful to you another time for the gift of life you have given to us. You have opened us up this morning to receive your blessing. And as I share with your people, I ask today that your Holy Spirit will work within us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God's people, the channels of mission. Throughout history, God has always had those who faithfully represented his character and in obedience followed his purposes. God's people are those who have been called and who have accepted his invitation to be partakers of his grace. All of them have been and continue to be God's instrument for the fulfillment of his mission. The story is told in Genesis chapter 12, 1 to 3, above the one Abraham. He said, Now the Lord hath said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. So God called Abraham to be a, a mouthpiece and a mission for him. Note though that Abraham had to leave his comfort zone and go on the mission that the Lord would want him to go. God's covenant with Abraham had his ascendance at a specific purpose. They were to call, created, and commissioned to be agents of God's missions, channels, and blessings to the nations. However, they were chosen within a covenant relationship with God, based on the implied conditionality of faith and obedience. This process, that of attracting the surrounding nations to Israel, was God's missionary strategy in the Old Testament. God's mission continues the risen lord and savior now launches a renewed mission strategy in the new testament which christ's disciples who comprise the church go out in mission to the whole world instead of as the asian israel the world coming to it mission did not originate with the church on the contrary the church exists because god still has a mission to be fulfilled and is using his church to fulfill that mission which you and I are a part of. Yet a question remains. What is a church's mission? It is the same as that of the one who called the church into existence. For the Son of Man came to see and to save the lost, based on Luke 19 verse 10. Though none of us in the church can save anyone, we can and must point others to the only one who can save, Jesus Christ. The mission of the Church of Christ is to save perishing sinners, is to make known the love of God to men, and to win them to Christ by the efficacy of that law. So, mission is to the Church, what air is to our lives. Without air, we would die, and if we try to stop our breath for a few seconds, we realize how important air is to our body. Without mission, the Church dies. So the question is for us today. What can I do to keep the church alive? And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Thank you, dear Jesus, that you have called us out of darkness into a marvelous light, to be co-laborers with you, to spread your word into every part of this world. Help us as we go day by day, not to allow the things of this earth to attract us or distract us, but help us to be focused and the mission that you have given to us. Please forgive us where we are for short of this. And Lord, we pray for strength that we'll continue on the journey, continue in this race, even to the end, I pray for Christ's sake. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today for Alpha. Please join tomorrow for another spiritual episode of Alpha. Until then, God bless.
for all daily at 6 a.m.